make sure that was well away. Little slip could put Scotland in here. Leonard, great pass. That's a beautiful ball out. Kai Kennedy is lively. First to great side on the left foot. Low ball across, could be a chance for Scotland. Ethan Ross with that late one in the box. And it almost played dividends for Scotland. Yeah, it was it was good play, you know, a good switch of play. Kai Kennedy, we know he likes to, to run at players. Great little pass from the outside of the boot there, and he, he's 1v1, he's got the pass inside. Um, but he, he decides to go down the line, it's a, it's a decent cutback. Jamie Hamilton has scored against Andorra. And there's five for Scotland. He's the target. And it's taken away by Samarjic. Scotland have it through Maxwell. Maxwell inside to Ashby. The two fullbacks can't afford that. The Jacku now trying to come through one on one. Maxwell going back to try and help out. And that's a good piece of play from James Maxwell, the Rangers youngster, giving some cover on that occasion to Harris and Ashby. That's a brilliant recovery for me. Um, it looked like he was going to run through and get a one-on-one. -on -one. His, his recovery pace was excellent, but also he'd done enough to obviously win it back. And sloppy play, it's that way. And it's something that you can't allow, you know, Germany too many chances like that because eventually they'll take them. Kevin Shad, that's a terrific little turn. May have been tugged as well. The cross, a tad hefty. And that's clever play again from Kai Kennedy. So it's been a nice start for James Maxwell, just a second start at this level. But Kevin Shad is certainly a danger as far as Scotland are concerned. It would have been easy for him just to just to not give up but think that he couldn't get there. So it shows great desire and hunger to get there and, and really do enough to, to get the ball back. I was really impressed there. Tower of the midfield. Room for Frederick Jacob. Spins it on the angle. Scotland need to get somebody out there. It is McPaik. Shot across, that's a good slide from Chris Hamilton. Kevin Shad had nipped in behind him and he had to make that challenge, and he did. Chris. Chris Ashby just a little bit soft there in terms of being up against his man. In trouble now, little chip ball across. And the header from Lazar Samarjic. Goalkeeper seriously tested so far as these two teams battle to win this group. Nice ball and offside in the county. Nicholas Tower just gone a little bit too early, although the referee may have given free kick for a push as well. There's a lot to watch there. And Tower certainly just went a little bit too early. Great save. They get their passing, the slick passing going. We have to, it's almost like you're putting it forward and sitting back waiting to defend. We can go and hurt Germany. We've got players in the wide areas. Good, strong midfield. Good, you know, fit, fast fullbacks and get forward. Squeeze the game up and, and you never know what could happen. And that's a nicely worked free kick chance for Scotland here, Steve. Yeah, I think it's a chance to get, get us up the park, you know, how, how important set pieces are in the game. I think we put a an excellent delivery in for this area before with no one quite there you know I think from set pieces it's quite obvious that we are protecting you know we understand how how dangerous Jeremy are in transition you know we've, we've got a good defensive shape about us but if we're putting the ball in the good areas it's important that we've got bodies bodies in there well, Germany with a reputation for queuing they're all queued up on the 18 yard line now they move and effective opportunity for Scotland though it's a lovely ball inside McPeak takes on his man, low ball and runs it in! Josh McPeak scores for the first time at this level and gets Scotland ahead of Germany and puts Scotland for now top of the group and a great strike from Josh McPeak. That's a, that's a brilliant goal, you know, talking about the protection. We don't win the first ball, but again, we're on the second ball. German defender slips just out of the shot when it comes back. Uh, and it's a brilliant, that's a run. I'm sure, great little touch past them. I'm sure he's going for a cross, but we'll take it. Um, a, a good goal, and you know, I think we've, I think we're good for it. I don't think you know we've, we've caused too much threat going forward. Great little reverse pass here, brilliant run, um, nice little bit of skill, and that's where you want your, your wide players in the attacking half, in, in the opposition box. 
Germany to explode because if they're going to get comfortable possession, they will take their time and they'll pick their passes just like they've done there. Um, Felder tries to get away, might break for Kraus. Opportunity, little deflection, and that will take it wide. Tom Kraus disappointed he couldn't put that on target. Scotland delighted with a block, and a corner is the result. Chasing it is Harrison Ashby. Didn't keep it in. The decent cross into is Jamie Hamilton coming up. He's just over hit the pass slightly, but it's great willingness to run. You know, he's had a tough game in terms of the you know his output. He's put a great ball in there, so I'm not sure if it was out. It's Hamilton. Oh, it's beautifully done by McPage, just lent into the defender. Into the box it goes. Might fall Scotland's way at the edge of the box. Leonard is there, he's fouled. Tower is the man who took him down. And there's a couple of great free kick takers in the Scotland side, and they've got the opportunity now. It's great play, and that, that comes, you know, it starts with the foul uh, on McBoody, and it allows us to get players forward. It's a good first touch. Leading by 1 to 0. Kai Kennedy! Oh, it's off the post! Goalkeeper may have got a tickle on that going through, but the woodwork was struck, and Scotland an inch away from making it 2 0. Yeah, it's, I mean, the goalkeeper's there, he, he kind of makes a meal of it for me, but with the size of that wall, they're taking something really special to get over it. Tara forward, Samardic sends it out wide. Opportunity for Jackie, the overlap is asked to the fullback. In it comes, Scotland needs somebody there, it's Crouch who played it out. That's a good block by Scotland to get the ball away. It's number six, Dean Campbell. Campbell then goes in. On the tackle again. Right time, right place for Dean Campbell. Yes, threatening for more. Kai Kennedy in. Almost fell for Hamilton. Leonard was close. McBoody deflected. Corner. Couple of chances falling Scotland's way from the German goal under threat. Yeah, again, it's not the best ball, but it's a dangerous enough ball that the Germany have to deal with that they don't. We're on the second ball, we're on the third ball. Jackie slides it through, but Mark Leonard is there, turns, down the line it goes. Woody is such a good second half, ball is sticking with him. Uh, still sticking with him, facilitate toes, brilliant little ball through. Opportunity for Scotland, if they can cut it back across, could be a penalty, the referee looks and says no. Ethan Ross is fouled and the referee decides against a spot kick. Big moment in the match. Uh, Ethan Ross manages to get it on, onto the safe side. It looks like he's opening up to have a shot here. He drags it back onto his left foot. And that's a penalty all day long. The referee looks so confused. I think he knew that he had to give it. And for some reason, he's not given it. It's good play because it, it, it does get caught here, Ross. But he knows if he drags it onto the safe side, the defender needs to make a decision. Shad. Nice little touch. Hat-trick against Belarus. Trying to work his way through. Trying to buy a free kick. Really not interested. Get out of the way, Kennedy. He's a looming figure of Frederick Kegel there. Mubidi has a lovely ball into the box, tries to shot first time. Into the side net it goes. Good opportunity for Scotland, looking to build on the lead. It's a great opportunity. It's Kai Kennedy's desire to get forward there is incredible, and it's a brilliant little pass. Chad tries to get on the end of it, lovely touch through, and it's Maxwell who comes across to make the tackle. He gets the congratulations of his teammates. It's going to be a corner to Germany, but again, the star man, James Maxwell. Scott, imagine that. Well, Scotland preparing another change, but they've won the ball, trying to come forward. It is Leonard. Goody, that's a lovely ball through, chance here for Dixon, cuts inside his man, can't wrap his foot around the shot. It's great play again, you know, nice little reverse pass uh, from Lennon. So it's been it's been a, almost a master pass on how he, how he defend. Gerda steps up for the shot, goalkeeper, well he's not had too much to do, spilt it slightly, but Chris Hamilton there to dig him out of any potential problems. It's a tough shot to deal with, it, it kind of moves, it's a little low, low kind of, you know, moves just in front of him. 
Goalkeeper has to watch. Kevin Shadow was there. That's the danger. Personally, I think you know you're, you're six foot six, stay on your line and you know deal with the ball as it comes in there because you're going into a crowd, which we believe to be true. As Germany come forward, Batista Meyer drops the ball off. Karabakh, Karabakh coming through and dives. Well, there are three German journalists down below us and Paul stood up claiming for a penalty, but the referee looked fairly insistent. This will tell us once and for all. Oh, yeah, that's a dive, a clear dive. You, you can see it from up here. You, you see him just dangle the leg, trying to buy the, the foul. Brilliant decision from the referee. Scotland with the throw. Kieran Dixon. Dumped to the ground, where the referee decides that is it, it is all over. It's a memorable lineup for Hill for Scotland. Okay.